Hi, in this video, I want to be showing you five things I wish I knew before starting a channel. Now, for those of you who are new and are just joining us, my name is Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and I started my channel about a year and a half ago after buying a whole bunch of courses and failing, and I just wanted to see how far I can get. And this is my whole entire journey, whatever I learned, what softwares I used, what tools I used, I share free, and of course, the opposite is true, whatever that, that doesn't work. What is BS? I, I also just um, share that as well. All right, so let me go back in time and show you exactly what I wish I knew um, before I started the channel. The first thing is, uh, at that time I purchased a lot of courses and all, a lot of these courses were um, basically telling me you just have to do a few clicks, you earn $800 just by listening to music. There's a whole bunch of these uh, different YouTube videos and YouTube and then courses on JVZoo, Warrior Plus, and I purchased a lot of them. And I failed and failed and failed and failed and I was like, what's what's wrong with me? All right, that, I thought something was wrong with me. I, I, I purchased the course, I should be making money. I did uh, XYZ according to the video, I should be making money. I used XYZ software, I should be making money. And I, what I realized was it's not me. It's it's all of these courses that are out there, these uh, junky courses in YouTube and clickbait that you know expect you to, I mean, this is this is great for them. Right, they have eight earn eight dollars per song, and then you click on it. They 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 earn money, and that's great for them. But what about the person who clicks on it and expects that, and doesn't get it, and then thinks that something's wrong with them? It's not good for them. All right, so I'm here to tell you that it's not your fault if you think that you know if you try to make money in the past online and uh, try to start it off a YouTube channel and you just couldn't get it to to work. There's nothing wrong with you. It's the expectation that is is the problem. A lot of people expect to make money right away after um, watching one video or uh, buying a course or a software. And the reality is it doesn't work that way. When you first go for a job, you don't expect to be the manager right away. So why do you expect to be the boss uh, and have a successful YouTube channel instantly within a week or two? Right? The same rules apply online as well as offline. Hey, I've been getting a lot of questions again. I've mentioned in another video how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate my channel and to save time while building traffic. So hey, if you're interested in how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate a lot of your work and to build traffic, uh, I'll put a link in the description and it will take you to the course where you can see how I do that. It's just there for people who are interested, so let's get on with the video. So that's the first thing, manage your expectations, Clickbait does not equal reality, all right? Clickbait titles does not equal reality. Let me repeat that because I, I want to make sure that, that you know that it's not your fault. Don't buy into the Clickbank. It takes work, all right? Next thing I, I wish I knew um, before starting a YouTube channel was that uh, you shouldn't follow big channels. I know it sounds weird. It's like, oh, well, this person has 325K subscribers and this person has 43 million subscribers. I should follow whatever advice they give me. Um, I, the logic sounds sounds kind of decent, but here's the reality of it. This person has 43.5 million subscribers. Exactly what I mean. So they can rank for any word nearly under the sun because they have 43.5 million subscribers. They can even make mistakes. They can put a really junky, really simple, uh, you know, they don't have to try as hard. They can put out um, a really simple th thumbnail and they still will succeed. So the point I'm trying to make is if you follow the exact steps that a lot of these, you know, expert, big, huge channels tell you to, um, and you fail, that's also not your fault. Because what they what they don't tell you is, yeah, it's how to make money on YouTube, but they don't tell you that they have 43.5 million subscribers or they have a, uh, a 100,000 email list or they have a website offline where they have uh, a, a huge amount of traffic. They they don't tell you those things, right? They just say, "Follow me. Look what look at you know look, look what I make." And then you know they kind of don't show you the necessary steps. Like they don't show the necessary ingredients, like the subscribers, the traffic that they built up, the email list, right? So if you're gonna follow someone in the beginning, follow someone that's very close to your level. All right, so let's say you're start like you're starting off from zero subscribers. Follow someone with maybe 500 to 1,000 subscribers. 
And then when you get to 500 subscribers, you know, move it up to 2,000, a channel that's 2,000 to 3,000 subscribers. All right, because whatever they're ranking for, you have a much, much higher chance of ranking for whatever a 1,000 subscriber channel is, is ranking for than a, a 43.5 million subscriber channel. All right, there's no way you're going to rank the, the same. YouTube doesn't treat this, the two the same. Okay, so be very clear on that. Uh, the third thing I wish I kind of knew when it came down to um, starting your own channel is it takes many skills to create a channel. All right, so when you when you look at these these uh, titles, you know it looks like oh, okay, well I just have to click this or buy this software or do a few easy steps and I can get you know make money or start a successful channel. And the truth of the matter is, there's a lot of micro steps. It's not just okay, start a channel and uh, you know create content and you're you're good to go. No, you have to learn how to create a nice thumbnail. You have to know how to. Uh, let me just show you with with real results. Uh, let me go to my analytics here. All right, so I'm gonna show you my analytics. All right, and I'm gonna go back in time to lifetime. All right, so when you go back to the beginning, right? January of basically the first of January. I was getting like nine, like single digit views for per video. It was pretty bad. And I went backwards. And what you don't see here is I had to like, I wasn't making, it seems like I wasn't making any progress. And then every time I make like a little jump was, it was a corresponding improvement in one of my skills. So from here to here, maybe I learned how to improve my thumbnail, right? And make it better. From here to here, maybe I learned how to key do keyword research. And, um, you know, basically all these little bumps in the road were me trying different things. This little bump right here was just me trying uh, paid advertisement. And it, it was okay. It wasn't really worth it. So I'm just going back to organic. And that's the other thing. Like, uh, if you don't know what you're doing with paid advertisement, you can burn money very quickly. That's why I focus on free um, organic traffic building methods in, on my channel. But... It takes many, many skills. I had to learn how to, you know, do a thumbnail, write a description uh, for SEO purposes, how to correctly do a call to action. And I'm still learning. I'm always learning. <laughs> it feels like I'm always, always learning. So right now I'm at a little another wall, right? So now I have to kind of figure something out because they don't tell you. It's not like school where they tell you, oh, this is the problem. You don't even know what the problem is. You got to find what the problem is. And then... Uh, find how to improve yourself because a lot of times I am the problem. <laughs> All right, I don't have the skills necessary to, you know, take it to the next level. Maybe my um, thumbnail isn't that good, or maybe my keyword research isn't that great, or maybe the the topic I, I pick isn't that great. So I'm always learning and playing around with different things, and that's what's what's going to be your journey as well. Um, no one's like no one goes from from here to here within a few weeks. I mean I say no one, but that that's that's rarely that's that's the exception, not not the norm. The norm is you gotta grind it out. This is norm the norm. And what happens is most people give up right about here. Right? They say nothing, 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 oh, it takes too much. I quit. They quit right about here. Right? Or they quit right about here. Or when they go down a little bit they quit. Right? And then it, you, they, they, you really need to have the grit and you have to figure out, okay, you know what, I, I made a mistake, let me try something else, let me look at the data and then uh, use a different tool and then try again and, and get pick myself up and try again. That's what you really need. All right? And and this is this right here is not very attractive. People don't want this. They don't like this. They like click three easy steps, buy one simple course, and you can be successful. This is the reality. You have to grind it out, just like an offline job. So that that's the main thing. And the last thing I just want to add the bonus is... Um, uh, the, the next, the next, uh, what do you call it? The next tip I want to give is it takes money to build a channel. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it takes a lot of skill. I had to learn a lot of different things like I mentioned earlier, but it also takes a lot of, it takes money. Like right here, this is, I'm going to be honest with you. This right here was, uh, me saying, no, I'm going to use free tools, all free tools because, you know, all these YouTube channels told me that I, I could just use a few tools to to get by with keyword research and to get by with thumbnail creation and to get by with it, I could just use all free tools. That's not true. I mean, that's only half true. I have to be very specific here. <laughs> uh, 
you can get by for a limited time on free tools, but your efforts and your work will be greatly rewarded and magnified if you use a little bit like, like, I'm not saying like extraordinarily expensive paid tools, but you have to kind of upgrade the paid tools. And when you see the, like the big improvements from here to here, here to here, here to here, these are all different paid tools that I, I basically used and it, it gave me to the next level. Now, this was me being cheapo and going, oh, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to buy anything. And did I learn something? Yeah, I, I learned to do it the hard way. <laughs> so when I use paid tools, uh, I, I, I appreciated it a lot more better and, uh, I got, I, I was, I guess I had the skill sets to, to use it to its maximum extent. So I would recommend, yeah, use, use free tools for a time being, but then upgrade the paid tools when you can once you have the, the foundation. Okay. And if you want to know more about that, you can go ahead and check out my course down below. The other thing I want to talk about is, uh, the last thing I want to talk about is basically you have to choose the right niche. So, when you're, you know, picking out your, your channel, make sure it's something you can do, um, for 15 years. Don't, don't follow, don't, don't do it because, oh, it makes a lot of money or, uh, because it looks like it's popular or trendy. No, you, if you, if you start a channel and, and you don't really like anything about the channel or you have no interest in it, the grind's gonna suck. This, remember this grind. I couldn't survive this if I didn't like what I was talking about. <laughs> Because my thinking is, heck, if I don't make any money, it's okay. At least, at least I'm uh, sharing what I learn about what I love, right? And then eventually here, I started poning up the the and buying, you know, paid tools. So that that's 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 the reality of it, okay? Through my personal experience, blood, sweat, and tears, and I just wanted to share this with anyone who's starting a small channel and is wondering what's the reality, because the truth is is hidden behind a clickbait <laughs> like this gets the clicks right this gets nothing <laughs> it gets it gets uh you know very low watch time because nobody wants to see this but you know what uh if it was me going back in time and i wanted to watch a video this is the video i wanted to i would i would love to watch i would want someone to sit me down and show me who's a little bit further ahead on the road than i am uh, to show me what the truth is, like, you know, what can I expect within a year's time? Um, what can I expect within a couple of months? Is it, should I use all free tools or should I use paid tools or what should I do? So I, I wanted to cover that, those topics and touch base on each, each of those uh, aspects real quick for those of you who are starting out. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll be help, happy to, uh, uh, help you out uh, if I can. All right. So, um, I hope you found this video helpful, and if it was helpful, could you please hit that like button? I'm Vince from Digital Menace 2, and I will see you in the next, next video. Thank you so much for watching.